How many contract angles? Some of these, I think, are just, you know, they're they're recapping what we, we recap. How many contract angles has Matt Hardy been involved in at this point? I don't know. But it seems like legitimately about four. I, yeah, I'm not sure if it— Maybe more. It feels like it's just been one that's never ended. It's just the same one recycled over and over again. Brandon says, when do you think Roman is dropping the title? Bro, I got no idea. But I know he's got to get to 1,000. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, the other day we were talking about records and that sort of thing. And I can't remember what the number is, but I, I think Pedro Morales might have been like around 1,100-something. So he's probably going to beat that one. If I had to wager a guess, my the answer would be never. I'm just going to hold him <laughs> we'll till the sun. We'll all die. Yeah, the sun's going to engulf the earth. He'll still be champion. Yeah. Huh. I figured that he was going to lose the title at WrestleMania. Did. Do you think he'll put the sun over? So my feeling would be now, if you really wanted to know, well, I would say next year's WrestleMania. But Wow. Yeah. Honestly, that was what I was going to say. Yeah. Maybe may drag it out to then and do uh, Reigns, Rhodes, too. See, the thing, the thing, I got nothing against Roman Reigns, but what do we have left, dude? That was the whole argument with Cody. Everyone had all these arguments about, well, you know, finish the story. Well, you know, he'd only been there for a while and he'd been hurt most of the time. And it's like, well, the story was supposed to have been from, like, you know, OVW. And, you know, it's supposed to be the story of his whole life, not just the story of when he came back. It's supposed to be the whole journey through... You know, Stardust and then going on the Indies and then Ring of Honor and then starting AEW and then everything in AEW and leaving AEW and returning and setting his sights on this, which actually kind of played into the AEW story since he created his own stipulation where he could never win the AEW title. So now he wants to come back and win the title. His dad never. I mean, all of this, it was all a long, a lifelong story, not a, you know, he'd been there for a year story. And so, you know, my argument was, okay, well, you know what? He doesn't win. Now what? Now what does Roman do? Well, the answer so far has been jack shit. Roman hasn't done anything since WrestleMania. And now it looks like, allegedly, they're going to do Roman and Solo against Sammy and Kevin for the tag titles, hmm. which is not the world title. And then, okay, well, we're, we're certainly wasting a lot of time here. Like, who's next for the world title? Well, it ain't going to be like Seth because he's going for the other belt. Mm -hmm. It's like, who on who the fuck on SmackDown is going to be next for Roman Reigns? It is it is far past the point of we've we've done all we can with Roman other than set these records, yeah. which allegedly means something. But I couldn't care less about him. So but so the thing is, Vinny, mm -hmm. you know, the the argument against Cody winning one of the big arguments, which actually Paul Heyman claimed this and some other people was like, well, if Cody wins and, you know, finishes a story, well, then what? What do you mean, then what? Yeah, that part of the story ends, and then a new part of the story begins, and literally he can defend the title against fucking everybody because they would all be new. Even Seth Rollins, you could do that one. That'd be the last on my list because he beat the guy three times. But, you know, you could do almost literally any main eventer, and it's a new story. You know how much bigger it would have been in Puerto Rico if it would have been oh. Cody Rhodes versus Brock Lesnar for the Undisputed Championship as opposed to just, hey, they're having a match because Brock beat the guy up. That's all. It's It would have been way better as a championship program. But here we are. He's just uh, having matches against this big guy, and Roman's doing nothing. I do not consider this a uh, net positive. Has Roman actually had a match since Mania? No. Wow. He's done nothing. Has he been on a show? Uh, he was on SmackDown this week. All right. Just doing interviews, so. Wow. This plaque. I'm still yeah. waiting for this stupid plaque. Yeah, Bischoff. Paul and Bischoff or who? What in God's name is going on? Uh-oh. Who let you in here? Everybody's favorite. Come over here. You can't even be seen. What? Oh, my God. Oh! Happy days here for Brian Alvarez. There it is. Presented oh, to F4W Online for passing 100,000 subscribers. Uh-huh. I want to give Oreo a hug. Come here, you big fat whale. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you to everybody hey. out there. Uh-oh. Hey! Uh what are you doing? Brian? Oreo? Hey, oh. I'm taking over the 
finish up. Oh no. Dumb. Oreo. Hit that music, brother. Ah, the hell with it. You know what? It's Monday. It's dance party. No, 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 no. I love you guys. I love you. When can you have this much fun on a Monday on Wrestling Observer Live? I think we may have started something new here. I hate that whale! If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.